In this video, I'm going to show you a short side trips tight end concept that is going to be very effective for attacking the meta as well as attacking really any defense um, that you're going to see, specifically zone and uh, as well as man, of course. So really, really simple setup here, uh, but also really effective. The play is PA slot corner, and uh, we're going to work through this real quick with you guys. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. Also, if you want to get my full trip side in ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. The link is um, in the description. So, P slot corner is my favorite play in the game. I think it's the most versatile play in this game. We're going to show you how to use it uh, to beat uh, kind of, it's kind of just a base setup. It's a base play that I run. Um, this is one of my favorite plays in the game. So, uh, or favorite setups in the game. So, what we're going to do is we're going to streak our um, inside trips receiver. Now, most teams are going to key on this player. This is going to allow us to kind of use him as a decoy in this setup. We're then going to C route our outside receiver. If you don't have outside apprentice, make sure you're using it. Outside apprentice is probably the most important ability this year. I actually think outside apprentice is more important than um, set feet lead. It's really, really important this year. Okay. And then we're just going to drag our tight end. So this is a setup right here. Now, this is best ran to the short side. And what you're going to see is if it is man-to-man, -man, um, the main route is this post. This post is so good. Um, it is so, so good against man-to-man. -man. It's honestly one of the more consistent man-beaters that I know. Um, it's very, very consistent. And it's going to force them to maybe shade inside. They generally won't shade inside to try to stop this. But... If they are, um, if they do stop the post for whatever reason, a lot of times the C route is going to be wide open. Right there, Mike Evans' his route running is not the best. But just trust me, if you have a, you know, Larry Fitzgerald runs this really, really well for me. So I use Larry Fitzgerald here. You can use whoever you want. Um, you know, but again, if that's not there, that route right there is almost always going to be open for you. Now, I recommend short in elite um, specifically on this player right here this guy can have short out elite if you have the ap to be able to do that but the other player that needs to have short and elite in trips is this guy um and that what you'll see right here is against man um he's going to be pretty consistent for you so that gives you a nice consistent man beater on that side of the field this is also really good because you can also wheel your running back out quick um this little wheel quick to the back just good uh, for spacing purposes, and you know you see right there the post was running wide open. Now uh, the C route on the outside here, like I said, normally is going to be a little better than what it's been showing so far. But right here, when he cuts the outside, you can always aggressive catch this and kind of protect yourself. Um, we're going to show you the C route against zone in just a second, but I do want to show it against um, against man because it's such a good man beater this year. Again, you need a little bit better route running than Mike Evans is going to have. Um, Wow, Devin White just ruined my <laughs> ruined my thunder there. Stole my thunder, but anyway, uh, we'll show you here one more time. So again, man to man, you could do it this way. You could you you really want to have this inside trips receiver on um, on this streak. That's really important. Uh, here we go. There you see he's wide open to the sideline. And I like to highball that if I have the ability. Like if I if I have the clear separation, I'll highball it. If I don't have clear separation, um, I'll probably still highball it. But you can freeform this as well. Um, again, if you're ever in trouble, just ag it. It's hard to pick it this year, um, you know. But anyways, like I said, this is a really simple way to attack man, and you have really three routes. Uh, that are going to get open your C route almost always will get open against man Especially if you have a good route running player the post route always gets open They have to use for that and they have to have somebody to go guard the tight end the tight end is pretty consistent as well So anyway, so that's that's the man uh, Variation now. I want to show you this play specifically against a couple adjustments that you're gonna see So one of the most important adjustments are consistent adjustments this year um, especially whether it's trips or bunches they love to outside third over there to stop the C route so an outside third when you run your trips to the short side, it'd be great if we could catch wide up a pass. When we when we run the trips to the short side of the field, this inside trips receiver on a streak can still pull zones to the outside. So you see here again, I'm not going to freeform it. I'm just going to outside pass lead. Boom. Um, I just find with freeform that I'm going to throw in too many too many bad pass leads or. I'm going to throw the ball into the third row. That's just what I've seen from it this year. So you don't have to freeform this outside C route. But what you'll see here again, you see how consistent it is. Easy money against cover three. 
course, if Mike Evans can catch the ball. Mike Evans is really kind of selling in this video. But anyway, so that's cover three, okay? And and it's it's super consistent. Like, it's super, super, super consistent. Again, if you run this to the short side. Now against cover four, same basic thing. Um, once the DB... Cover four is a little better than cover three. But once the defensive back kind of turns to run with the vertical then we can throw this outside it's almost like a back shoulder boom right there okay super super simple so you know again um the fact that i'm getting jammed out of this cover four which you normally won't see you're normally going to get a um a hard flatted cover four you'll see it's a little bit easier so i don't get jammed boom my guy's open to the sideline it literally is almost like a back shoulder throw it, effectively that's kind of what it plays like and you see how good it is and then last zone that I want to cover is cover two. So you break down zones so easily with this. They're going to have to mable uh, to basically stop this. But against cover two, you see that's wide open. If you, if you play cover two, um, my recommendation would be just to highball this. Uh, but you see how effective this is. Now, um, the other thing is, let's say that they uh, try to user it or whatever. You still have this streak that's going to clear out room uh, for that post in behind it. Okay. So you still have, you know, your streak. You have a high low on the left side. So like if they're not hard flatting, you can throw this drag. So you see like right here, they're drifting back. So I can throw that underneath. Um, if you wanted to in route your, your tight end, um, just for timing, more so for timing purposes than anything else, you can do that. So you see here, the yellows get sucked back and then I can throw that tight end right in that little window. Real tight throw there. Got to understand their user... Um, so now let's say, I understand what, are the, what is their user going to do, right? So, you know, let's say their user kind of latches onto the tight end and he's going to take the tight end across the formation. Um, and then by that point, if he takes that tight end there, it leaves that pocket right in behind it for your, uh, your, your post route to, our, uh, to Chris Goblin. And you could smart route this route if you want it to go a little bit deeper. Um, you know, it'll get it a little bit deeper. Here you see there's that C route against man. Um, the catch knockouts are crazy now. I feel like the not I feel like they've kind of improved the catch knockouts on high balls. Um, but anyway, you can always cut it off like that if you ever get in trouble. Um, but yeah, this is one of my favorite plays. Uh, because of the fact that because we're running this to the short side of the field, it means that Chris Godwin, um, or um the middle trips receiver could run off every zone in the game. And because he can run off every zone in the game, it makes it really, really powerful. And then if they bust a man coverage or if they just want to play man and they go to the tight end, you can throw this post. Um, so, you know, effectively, um, there's other ways to run this. So, like, if they start to adjust to your drag, you can easily just run an out to your, to your tight end. You saw the out route was open and then... Obviously, your post is going to be open against man. The post is so consistent. Um, you know, so you can use this post. Um, another thing you can do um, is you can motion snap. So you could do something like this, and then maybe maybe we want to have a little motion snap. A little baby motion snap in. You can do that. I just don't feel like – I feel like the motion snap, even though it is really good against man, it just takes too long. I feel like it just takes too long to get open. So that's my main thing with that. But anyways, like I said, this is becoming uh, very quickly. I mean, PA slot quarter has been probably my favorite passing play this year. But there's there's so much you can do with it. And this specific setup is so good for the current meta. So if you want to check out the rest of the ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. $10 will get you access to everything. All the ebooks, all the updates. If you want to sign up, link is down in the description. Hope to see you guys over at the Patreon.